Hey, good Monday morning, everyone. This is Joe. Welcome to my scripture reflection for Monday, May the 8th. It is so nice to be with you again. I always appreciate all of you who join me here when I do these reflections. I appreciate your presence, your comments. But I'm going to ask you for a little bit more today. I'm going to ask you how we can maybe expand what we are doing. We have about 100 views a day that join us for the scripture reflections. And I know that several of you comment pretty regularly, and you may know some ways of how we can grow our audience. I would love to do that at this point. How we can maybe improve the videos, I'm open to that. How we can expand the audience, I'm open to that. And how we could maybe, yes, get some monetary donations that I can add to the money that I give to animal rescues every month. This would be a wonderful way to expand what we're doing. In all honesty, these are not the strengths that I bring. I bring maybe the interpretation of the scriptures and sharing it with you. But if you are open to helping me, please reach out. I would love to speak with you about how we could expand these reflections and how they're helping so many people and how we could help so many more. So I will leave you with that in your mind, but now I'll ask you to open your hearts and quiet your heart so that we can hear today's scripture, which is from St. John, chapter 14, verses 21 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you all that I have told you. There was a commercial not long ago for Eggo waffles. And Eggo waffles were so delicious that people would grab at them as they came out of the toaster. And the line that was used was, let go of my ego. Because nobody wanted their ego taken away from them. Well, my friends, I've amended that just a bit and I've taken one G out. Ego was E-G-G-O. I've adjusted it to let go of my ego, E-G-O. And I did this because I feel it is the key to the gospel today, which offers us an opportunity to live in God's love if we are willing to keep his word and keep his commandments. The only thing that keeps us back from keeping his word and keeping his commandments is, yes, our ego. Listen, I tell you all the time, I put my hand up and say I'm with you, and I get it because I do. I share, we all share these challenges that are not only positive in nature for our life now, but obviously for our eternal life. But I share them because I think we're all in this together. And I can tell you that many times I slip into the ego place and that need to let go of my ego and then reveal to me at that time is a clear vision of God's word, God's commandments, God's love, and a much more peaceful existence. How do we do it? We do it by being a little bit on guard and realizing that like the ego waffle, there is something delicious for us to embrace. And that deliciousness is a more peaceful life, a life where we enjoy a little bit more peace and consolation instead of stress and worry. And yes, all we sometimes need to do is let go of our ego, let go of what we think is affecting us, how we need to be a little bit more treated better in this life, and all the things that go along with that ego word that we all know too well. So my friends, let's put a vision in our head to let go of our ego, grab on to a real delicious ego waffle, that waffle being God's love, 
God's compassion, and definitely a more peaceful life for all of us, especially those who we share this planet with. Well, my friends, that's my message today. I hope, as always, it's helpful for you. Again, I look for your comments and your thoughts, especially to expand what we're doing. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm wishing you all a wonderful Monday. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I will be here with you, but a little bit earlier than usual. I have some appointments I have to go on in the morning, so I'll probably be recording about between 7 and 7.15 Eastern Time. Have a great Monday, everyone. I'll see you back here soon.